the 2021 Montana Legislature passed a new law that offers a path to compensation for those who spent years in Montana prisons for crimes they did not commit. But those who fought for the law's passage aren't happy about some last minute changes imposed by the governor's office. The new law offers the wrongfully imprisoned $60,000 for each year they spent in prison for a crime they didn't commit and $25,000 for each additional year they had to spend on parole or probation or registered as a sex offender. To get that money, they must prove in court their innocence, even though they've already been exonerated. But because of Governor Greg Gianforte's mandatory veto on the next to last day of the 2021 legislature in late April, they also must sign away any right to sue the state or local governments for damages. Under the original version of the bill, if they sued and won, they had to pay back the state anything awarded under the claim system. Gianforte's changes also said the county that prosecuted the person making the claim is responsible for 75% of the money, rather than just the state. Amy Sings in the Timber of the Montana Innocence Project says counties could challenge whether they should pay, adding more uncertainty to the process. Cody Marble of Conrad, who was fully exonerated in 2017 after spending years in prison on a 2002 rape conviction, worked for at least two years to pass the bill. But now he's not sure he wants to drop a pending lawsuit against Missoula County and the state in order to go through the new claims process. Sings in the Timber also says federal civil rights lawsuits often are the only way to hold bad actors in the criminal justice system accountable. In his veto note, Gianforte said the wrongfully convicted should be compensated, but that his changes would better protect taxpayers from big lawsuits. But Rob Ferris Olson, a Helena attorney for a Great Falls man exonerated in 2017, says the new law probably won't convince that many wrongfully convicted people to drop lawsuits against the state. His client, Richard Burkhart, recently settled a federal lawsuit against the state and city of Great Falls in Cascade County for $600,000. Cody Marble told me the original bill was a good faith effort to compensate people like himself. But now he feels like it got stolen away in the final moments of the session. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News.